Uh, hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris. We're the Robotics Gaming, and this is Code Vein. Uh, so let's get started with this run. So this is gonna be a new playthrough, and we're going. I'm gonna go through the strength build on this one. Yeah, man, this is my second playthrough. The first time I went through, it's kind of a, a, a deck. It ended up as a dex build with a with a pole arm. Hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. With Chris. Our Webonics. <clears throat> okay, male character. Um, oh, God. Is there any like random ones? There's a lot of customization options in this game, um, which isn't a bad thing. But usually, when there's as many options, it takes me hours just to try and um, come up with something. So, uh, Pro just can use one of these random, uh, random setups. Oh, okay. Let's go with Let's go with this guy. Yeah, that's what you look like. Now we can finally meet. Okay, so this is the tutorial area, which I'm pretty sure we can just go back here and kind of exit this place. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are the that has since your blood is the only teacher you have. So I'm going to be skipping through a lot of this, um, the bits that I can do, the cutscenes and stuff. Um, I do have another playthrough on this. My first one was there. Uh, Ended up being no commentary, but there was uh, I kept all the cutscenes in. Um, so if you're interested in those, you could uh, I'll leave a link in the video uh, down below, so you can click on that if you wanted to to see all the cutscenes and enjoy the story of the game. Ugh, the first bit's always the worst bit, it's like dry, this bit. You can't cut this bit out. But we've got to like slow walk all the way over here. We have no choice. I am here with you. Just a bit farther. We're all right. Spring will slake our thirst. So you can go and uh, grab a coffee or something, or I uh, make over here. Could take a while. Okay, now we can start sk skipping again. On your feet. We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. You're awake then. <laughs> Whoa. Keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. Number three and four. Newcomers too. Time to work.
This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. All right, let's get going. So we can choose um, like three kind of classes as soon as we start. Uh, we don't even need to go in there. Um, but I think I want to get. I need to get some uh, some haze and just get um, get a ranger skill. So I'll do that in the next place. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. So I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave it. You have to use whatever you can to survive. So uh, this is one of those games, if you like the Dark Souls series uh, and you like anime, this is uh, this is kind of the perfect game for you. Very, uh, very uh, Dark Souls-esque gameplay. Um, most of the usual stuff applies. You get some backstabs, backstabs in, some parries, um, dodges. Is there something good in there? Get your little uh, Estus flasks. That's that green thing um, on the left of the screen. This is a quick roll that I'm doing. <clears throat> it's kind of like a nice colliding effect. Wooden boxes. Who stacked them here? Whoa, that's close. <laughs> Almost went over the edge then. Okay, so watch out for that guy. Um, they do quite a bit of that in this game. They'll like put enemies in certain places so they can like jump out. Parries. It's like so. Compress L2 to parry. Um, I'm I'm never too good at the timing with this. There's like a, about a second delay. So you got to time it for when they when they're about to hit you. Um, but I might be using it a bit more in this build. That wasn't very convincing, was it? These so I'll have to really practice that again. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? Some uh, geisha noodles. To go back for her quick. <laughs> A weapon. I'm using so let's, uh, switch weapons. <laughs> like a concrete bollard. Okay, so let's switch out those weapons as well. We did pick up a few, so there's no point in using a pipe sure, anymore. I can wait. And we got heavy axe as well. Let's throw that in there. Hmm. 
Which way do you think is better? What do you think that is? Is there something good in there? Let's head down here and open up the shortcut. Although we're probably not going to come back here anyway, so we could just rest up. Um, so what makes this game like uh, a little bit unique is uh, our gifts and our blood, blood codes and our blood veils. Um, so these are like the classes, kind of like the job system. You select to look at a job and they've all got their different uh, abilities um, but you can also um you so you have to purchase a skill to learn a skill and that costs haze and once you've uh, gained enough experience while having that skill equipped then you can earn it as a as, as a learned skill so you can use it with with other blood, blood codes um so in this one i think i want to get um there's one for the rangers i want to get this also, we have guard stability. Reduces stamina consum consumption from guarding while you are focused. Um, it's probably that one as well. Poison weapon. This isn't the time to be daydreaming. And I don't have enough for that. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just gonna switch over to that one to learn those skills, so I can get a bit more stamina. That ladder was down, we could get up. Uh, so we're gonna change our blood code. This changes our skills as well that I've got equipped. And because we learned some as well, we can re-equip some of the ones that we've learned. Such as triple annihilator. Um and I wanna let's take this one off. This one uh, heals your like ally that you've got running around with you. I'm going to switch out that one for the poison. And everything else is equipped on there so we can learn all that stuff. Health boost from our other class. And let's get that in there so we can learn that as well. Um, so that's kind of, so your blood code kind of is linked to your skills. What skills you can have equipped, what abilities or gifts. And then your blood veil. Um, Uh, I'm not too sure about these, but they change some stats uh, whatever you, whichever one you equip. So we want something that's, we want to try and get something that's a bit more strength heavy, but we haven't got anything um, with that yet. But if we switch to this one, then it changes our mobility. Actually, let me just check that. Yeah, so we can't really, well, this slow roll. So if we put this one on the blue hounds, it takes our weapon one up to normal. That one's still slow. This one's normal, so it's a quicker roll. Um, okay, so let's carry on with this. Did you know this path was here? Is there something good in there? Will that come in handy? Another great sword. They pass us earlier. Um, who's that? So we got his like mask split. Oliver, poor Oliver. So we gotta leave him there for now. Uh, get some poison on there. Let's 
to it, this guy. Just hide him behind the corner. See if we get a parry in. I think it's a bit easier with this as well. It depends on what I am. And what blood veil you have equipped. There's a dif different timings in there, like some of them uh, give you a longer window to be able to get parry. Which I think this is one of them. Uh, but it's a bit more, it's a bit quicker as well. Um, the one that we had before was like a, like a one second time before we could use it. Let's move back a bit. You know, poisoned. And uh, I think the cast ones like are up for, for a long time. So it allows you to parry it as a caster, as a cast in Veil. Oh man, I knew that was going to happen. What the hell? Oh, it's heal. Should be any more of these in. But yeah, this thing, this one seems fairly, fairly easy to parry with. Regen extension factor. It's a nice item to be getting. Let's see if we can get some big shots. Okay, we got those uh those gifts unlocked. Nice. Let's get another heal over here. these guys. Uh, I haven't even done the... So we've got a, a block as well. But currently, yeah, we get to take damage when we block. This guy's shield up as well. And, and these guys, guys with the shields, they can... Uh, Parry as well. So always be careful about that. Just take this guy out. But yeah, so far I've done this a lot as well. It's, it's kind of easy to just uh, roll behind them and get backstabs. That's that's most of the time. That's the easier option than trying to get a parry off or just going uh try and get normal attacks in Vivid fire. Not sure what that is. Oh, look. <clears throat> I used to return to the last missile in memory without losing haze consumed upon use. Uh, but we want to pop this regen extension factor medicine that permanently increases the number of times regeneration can be used. Let's get another heal from that. So I think that's all the guys down here that we've. Yeah, that needs to be killed. Or well, not needed to be killed. We could just pass them, but 
I was like clearing areas. Try and find any uh, lost loots. Okay, nice. So before I do that, I just want to switch back. Back to fighter. Let's change our stats as well. So from this stage, it might be. Oh, no, that's fine. We'll stick with this one. Bloodhound. Yeah, we also picked up a new sword. So a normal roll speed with the axe. 302 physical damage. Uh, we get more uh, damage for a slower speed. Um, so what's this one on? This on normal roll. Uh, let's, see, let's put the axe in, in our first slot. Yeah, and they're just going to kind of rest up here. See if there's anything that we can get or that's worth getting. Um, increase the drain rating of weapon attacks. Increase the effect of Dark Gifts while it focused. Yeah, that's all caster stuff. Um, I, I did want to get that, but... Yeah, I don't mind missing that for now. Focus... Right, I want this one. Reduce the stamina spent while you're focused. And typically creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. Let's get that one as well. Why not? We're going to be using this. Uh, for now, let's get some. Let's get one level up. Sure. Um. So this guy here, he's got a giant thing on his head, or is that his head? What's on his back? So if you stand like here, he can fall off the edge, troll under him. And we have like a Queen Slayer Thorn. Um, is that going to be better? I think there's more of a caster type um, thing. Where is it? Yeah, I'll stick with all that we've got for now. Oh, uh, we can get a buddy. Are you a fellow? I'm buddy. Don't worry. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. That's an item here. Just grab this. Well hidden. Well, the attack or buff. More over us. Crap. We got the big guy. Actually, I'm missing the, uh, I didn't put the skills on that we just got, so, uh, let's put these on now, let's get some poison, and uh, more stamina, guard boost and stamina boost, nice. I'm actually liking this axe. Pretty nice. I guess it's the uh, perfect weapon for strength to start off with.
Hey, you. That's. Uh, forget it. We'll talk later. That's what. What is it? It's strange to see a cave connected to a building. What do we have here? In Slayer Blade. didn't know already we've got the uh, quick attacks like normal attacks and then strong attacks Did you pick up something we can use it's also a uh, running attacks and I think you can do they say jumping attacks then but you can't jump in this game But you can definitely do like dungeon attacks as well. And uppercuts. But I haven't really uh, performed an uppercut yet. And you can get uh, charged attacks. That was pretty nice. Let's try and get that on someone. Maybe these are. Uh, these things up here. So um, for most of this game, you're going to want to take a partner along with you, um, unless you're looking for like the, the harder difficulty, which is just trying to do it solo. Um, but for a lot of the bosses, you're going to have to get it, get the the, uh, the tactics down, and then the timing's perfect just to uh, just to be able to do a lot of these bosses without a partner. Good, that's light from the surface. But if you're looking for a challenge, it's definitely there. Um. If not, if you want a bit of an easy time, it still is uh, a little bit difficult. Then you can uh, then just take a partner along. nice um so yeah one thing to take note as well um if you've got some weapon abilities on your bar uh like i did there like your normal attacks would use your stamina um so when that's depleted you could just uh, uh use a weapon skill instead it takes uh eye core to use but it doesn't take any stamina so you can get some some extra damage in um but just be careful like when you come out of that if you need to dodge, you need to make sure you got a bit of stamina remaining. <laughs> ah, Berserk Fest Vestige Core. So we've got a new uh, blood code. Open test out. 
should probably go straight into this one. This is more of a, a melee, melee based uh, a code, and there might be some uh, skills we need from that. So I'm not sure what like the full path is to get to like full on strength build, but I do want to get the the Zwei hander. I'm going to be using that for most of the game. But yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just play it, see what happens, see what we get. For now, let's take it easy. Make yourself at home. Um, but yeah, so um, your friend is prop. Yeah, so we'll leave it here. Um, kind of like this. I'm excited to get through this now. Uh, just knowing that I'm going to go for for strength. Um, and there's a lot of uh, good blood codes in this that I haven't uh, tried out that, that are going to be very beneficial for like strength this. builds. I'll have to say hello to you sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked seeing this content, uh, then hit that like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget, to, don't forget to ring the notification bell. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, what's your favourite kind of uh, build for this game? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, hopefully, see you again. Take care.